Hi, I'm Lori Montgomery. I wanted to share a few observations from my reading in the, the video lab this week. Uh, in Grinello and Young, they mentioned two things uh, on 267, page 267, attentive listening. I found it really interesting that they said that a counselor will use attentive listening where you really give pause and space without speaking so that the client can have time to think and respond, that you use this technique in order to, it's a social communication, in order to show that this is not a social interaction between you. Um, and that's something I hadn't thought about before. And then also empathy, um, they were talking about how often we feel like if we haven't had the same experience, we're not going to be as effective. And that empathy is not about having a shared experience, but it's more of an emotional response. And that reminded me of the verse in uh, Corinthians that talks about how God comforts us in our troubles so that we can comfort others in any trouble with the comfort he's given us. And then I saw both of these things in the uh, Pearson My Counseling Labs, the attentive listening and empathy. Uh, with attentive listening, the counselor was very calm and very measured, uh, gave a lot of time for the client to think before they were speaking, would prompt them as far as looking at them with eye contact, nodding, saying, mm-hmm, or can you tell me more about that? Uh, so he's very good in giving a comfortable, non-judgmental environment for the client. And then paraphrasing was the second video uh, on the Pearson Lab. And it one thing that I noticed about that was it was a lot more detailed than I anticipated in the beginning. Uh, that it would be there would be as much paraphrasing as there was in the session. Uh, along with that, the reflecting feeling, uh, I found that the counselor in that video was really skilled at hearing and understanding the feelings behind the client's words and rephrasing them and speaking them back to the client. And uh, that's a skill I look forward to learning more about. He was able to do that without it seeming like he was leading the client to feel certain ways that they maybe were not even expressing, but he was spot on with his uh, observation on their feelings. And then uh, reflecting meaning, I found very interesting and probably a little bit harder for me to discern um, how I would really speak in words the significance behind the meaning of what um, the client is saying. So I'm really interested in learning how to do that throughout our counseling sessions and, and education. So the counseling session itself was pretty much what I anticipated as far as attentive, empathetic listening, uh, making a very safe environment for a client to speak, making them feel comfortable, the counselor being relaxed yet professional in their interactions. Uh, one thing that was different was the use of, and it might have just been uh, as heavy as it was, uh, for example, reasons, but the uh, reflecting feelings and reflecting, especially the reflecting feelings was a lot and it was more than I anticipated. Reflecting meaning was really interesting to me, so that was a little bit different how much those are used in a counseling session. But um, I enjoyed seeing it and I'm looking forward to learning really how, how to do these things in our counseling sessions. Thank you for uh, listening to my observations from this week. Hope you have a good week. Thanks.